Good morning, Miss Emma, and thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation. I hope you and your family are doing well and stay healthy, especially in this pandemic season. So, before I start this presentation, I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Tisa Padena Hidayat. People usually call me Tisa. My student ID number is 19L10013, and I'm from the Visual Communication Design Faculty. In today's presentation, I would like to talk about a style of design that we usually see in our daily life. This style usually applies to chair, table, or just wall decorations that were made using carving techniques in the form of plants with swirling tendrils. This famous design was first being found in Europe and was the first international design style that developed in the 1880s to the early 1920s. The influence of architecture with the Art Nouveau style began to be brought by architect P.A.G. Mojin Sirka in 1905. This style was heavily influenced by Europeans. Uh, this art is also widely combined with Art Deco, which was brought by the next architect. Houses with ornate flora of the middle class and above are the easiest examples of the great influence of this style of design and live until now. In my presentations, I will focus on mainly three major issues. First, the deeper background and the history of this certain design style. Second is the artists who heavily influenced this design. And last but not least is its influence to today's design, its beauty and speciality that distinguish it from other designs. My presentations will take about 20 minutes to cover these issues. There will be time for questions after my presentation, so please let me speak first until my presentation is finished without getting interrupted. After that, feel free to ask any questions and I will try my best to answer it. Don't worry about taking notes because I'll be handling out copies of the slides at the end of my talk and I can also email the PowerPoint presentations to anybody who wants it. According to the source that I've been reading and searching on the internet and books, I'm getting some information such as Art Nouveau is an international style of art, architecture, and applied art especially the decorative art, known in different languages by different names such as Jugendstil in German, Style Liberty in Italian, Modernismo Catalan in Spanish. In English, it is also known as the modern style. This style was most popular between 1890 and 1910. It was a reaction against the academic art, eclecticism, and historicism in 19th centuries, architecture and decoration. It was most often inspired by natural forms such as the sinuous curves of plants and flowers. Other characteristics of Art Nouveau were a sense of dynamism and movement, often given by asymmetry or whiplash lines, and the use of modern materials, particularly iron, glass, ceramics, and later concrete to create unusual forms and larger open space. Let's consider this in more detail. One major objective of Art Nouveau was to break down the traditional distinction between fine art, especially painting and sculpture, and applied art. It was most widely used in interior design, graphic arts, furniture, glass art, textile, ceramics, jewelry, and metalwork. The style responded to leading 19th century theoreticians such as French architect Eugene Emmanuel Violet Ledoc in 1814 until 1879 and British art critic John Ruskin in 1890s until 19,000. In Britain, it was influenced by William Morris and the arts and craft movement. German architects and designers sought a spiritually uplifting Jesam Kunstwerk or uh, it's also known as total work of art that would unify the architecture furnishing and art in the interior in a common style to uplift and inspire the residents. I believe that the first Art Nouveau houses and interior decor appeared in Brussels in 1890s in the architecture and interior designs of houses designed by Paul Hanger, Henry van de Velde, and especially Victor Horta whose hotel tassel was complete in 1893. It moved 
quickly to Paris, where it was adapted by Hector Guimard, who saw Horta's works in Brussels and applied the style for the entrance in the new Paris metro. It reached its peak at the 19,000 Paris International Exposition, which introduced the Art Nouveau works of artists such as Louis Tiffany. It appeared in graphic arts in the posters of Alphonse Mucha and the glassware of René Lalico and Emile Gill. And then, from Belgium and France, it spread to the rest of Europe, taking on different names and characteristics in each country. It often appeared not only in capitalist, but also rapidly growing cities that wanted to establish artistic identities, such as Turin and Palermo in Italy, Glasgow in Scotland, Munich and Darmstadt in Germany, as well as in centers of independence movement, such as Helsinki in Finland, then part of the Russian Empire, Barcelona in Catalonia, Spain. But after that, the use of this art novel style is starting to decrease. A good example of this is by 1914 and with the beginning of the First World War, Art Nouveau was, was largely exhausted. In 1920s, it was replaced by the dominant architecture and decorative art style by Art Deco and then Modernism. The Art Nouveau style began to receive more positive attention from critics in the late 1960s with a major exhibition of work of Hector Guimard at the Museum of Modern Art in 1917. And that's all that I have to say about Art Nouveau in these presentations. I am now approaching the end of my presentations. And just to summarize the main point of my talk, now we all know a lot more information about the origin of Art Nouveau which is an international style of art, architecture, and applied art, especially the decorative art, was most popular between 1890s and 1910. It was, uh, in my opinion, we should appreciate this kind of art style more because nowadays I don't really see this kind of works often, even though it's really a beautiful style of design. And now, uh, I'm done with my presentations and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for listening.